Good morning, House from Justice. I'm going to share with you a story about Social Security Administration and what I've been through with them. If you've been through a similar situation, if you've been considered disabled for a period of time through Social Security and then they turn around and tell you that you're no longer disabled, well, that's what happened to me. After 14 years of being noted disabled by the government because they don't like my attitude, uh, after dealing with post-traumatic stress disorder brought on by domestic violence, and it's all in my medical records proven that, you see, I used to date, when I was underage, mind you, a cop from Skowhegan Police Department in Skowhegan, Maine. His name's Joel Cummings. I've been asking repeatedly why recently. Why is it that he was still part of uh, the community and serving as a police officer and working uh, apparently at the Reddington Fairview General Hospital? I want answers to these questions because even though I may have been emancipated, I was still under the age of 18, which doesn't make it right for a police officer to be involved with a vulnerable teenager. Isn't that correct? Because I'm going to tell you, my daughter was only conceived months before I turned 18 years old. My daughter was born three weeks after I turned 18. Now, I'm not going to tell you that he's my daughter's father because that's not on paperwork. But what I can tell you is I know where I was, and Joel Cummings knows where he was, and most recently on Brianna's birthday, I had gotten messages from his wife, Michelle Cummings, telling me, which I, as the last I knew, she was part of, um, like, dispatch or something for Somerset County or Skowigan PD or whatever, okay? So knowing that, and I've got all the copies, and we'll show that in another segment. It's already been on YouTube, but YouTube seemed to disapprove of it because I came forward and I don't hide shit, okay? So now back to it. Social Security Administration in uh, Montpelier, Vermont, directed by who? Attorney General T.J. Donovan, okay? And we know about him. We've got information on him, and I've got a lot of facts and proof against him. So I'll be sharing that again. Okay, so for here on, we're going to do all the updates that happened from January 2021 to February 2022, starting this weekend, Valentine's weekend, Saturday. It's a beautiful day, and while I'm outside telling you my stories, I'm also going to be promoting House for Justice. I'm here to tell you what your rights are. I can prove to you what your rights are. It's time for you to stand up and stand with those of us, like the truckers that are at the border right now. They're not just about truckers. They're about all of us. And sooner enough, it's going to come out. Because if I have to promote it myself, which is right of revolution, Bill of Right, we have the right to overthrow the government when they do us wrong. Now, we're going to start with a Social Security case from... Montpelier, Vermont, when I had lived in Maine, I had no issues, okay? I was mending and healing myself. I take care of myself and my family. Well, somebody didn't like that I had haters. I had a Julie Ridlin Keaton that was married to Jeffrey Keaton at the time. Um, she took him for a long ride, and that was pretty funny, too. But she hated on me so bad because hate comes from jealousy, okay? She would dress like me one, you know, see me one day and the following time she'd see me, she's dressed the same way I was previously. Shit like that. It just goes on and on. It's kind of funny now, but really not, okay? It still tells you how demented she was back then. And it's probably gotten a whole lot worse today, okay? So knowing that and all the um, frivolous, you know, misconduct, Jeffrey Keaton, um, him and Julie and, and the whole town of Skowhegan and the police force and the governmental offices of Maine, right over to Vermont, okay? So we're going to get to that as well. But back to it again, Social Security Administration, okay? So in 2005, I was told that I was disabled because of PTSD, which if you, again, I can show you my medical records. They're uh, all right in this file here. You're going to find... Matt Cunningham's name from Somerset County Sheriff's Department mentioned in a report. You're going to find Jill Cummings mentioned in a report. Yeah. They caused me mental distress and emotional distress. Mm hmm And so with that being said and slandering and discriminating against me and defaming me. So 
here's the deal. When I moved back from Florida to Vermont, Montpelier, Attorney General T.J. Donovan, and the whole crew, DHHS, all of them, tried to get rid of me. Excuse me. Didn't happen that way. Okay. So they had denied me because they didn't want me to live in the state of Vermont. Well, I'm a natural born resident to the state of Vermont. And so with that being said, I went to them and I filed because I've got the intelligence enough to know what I'm talking about and what I'm doing and the truth always prevails. <clears throat> Excuse me, they directed me to legal aid. Legal aid is overseen by. Now legal aid is the department um, that's supposed to help people with lower income, blah, whatever, okay? Well, Department of Labor, Legal Aid, DHHS are all overseen by the same people, okay? The Director of Human Services, Sean Donahue, and the current Attorney General, T.J. Donovan, plus all the Senators and Bernie Sanders has included that. Um, so anyways, then you got the Disciples, Vermont State Police, Mental Health Services, and the um, Area health clinics okay they're all connected together with the hospitals and now all these drug task force that if they were out there doing their jobs and they were concerned about drugs why do we have more drugs coming in than not okay so again social security had found me to be disabled through ptsd and they tried to label me this bullshit they come up with bipolar. Well, bipolar, if anybody knows, is about being happy, mad, glad, or sad, okay? Anybody has the right to be any of those. So if the government doesn't like the way your attitude is, they pay a doctor to say that. Just like COVID, okay? If they think you've made too much money and they want everybody on an even scale, you're going to get COVID, okay? Pretty sure of it. Everybody knows about this COVID scam and scheme, right? That was brought on by the government. We're not to blame for that. So why isn't anybody filing a lawsuit? Oh, I wasn't supposed to say that. I wasn't supposed to ask you that, right? Because YouTube doesn't like that and the government doesn't either. When I ask why nobody's come forward and filed lawsuits. Because you see, I didn't create COVID. Neither did you, okay? But now it can cause people to be, excuse me, defamed and the post-traumatic stress disorder that was, came out from coronavirus and COVID. Well, that's personal injury lawsuit. Oh, whoops, did I say lawsuit again? Sorry. My bad, government and disciples. I mentioned the fact, okay, that we have the right to overthrow the government. It's called abolish the government. Abolish the <laughs> government. Oh, sorry, guys. You're not supposed to know that either. But if you look up Bill of Rights, Overthrow the <coughs> government. You're going to find that that is our <coughs> duty. And that's why the wars were fought. Because why? Because we have the right to freedom. We have the right to everything. And so back to it again. Social Security Administration, okay? I'm going to share with you in another segment. But I all want you to know that disability, Montpelier, Vermont overrun by the attorney general in the state continuously tried to make me a non-resident they were sending my mail to another person and we're going to prove all that because it's right here in this file and as a result in 2022 what happened well I'm back on it and I got my money back at the end of 2021. How did I do that? I had a lawsuit against the government. And I also had moved to Maine and still fought it because Social Security is a governmented. And at the end of it, when I was found to still be disabled in the state of Maine, I called Vermont. And I asked them, how is it that I'm uh, disabled in the state of Maine with the same medical records? But I'm not disabled in the state of Vermont. And she said it goes state to state. Fuck it does. It goes federal, state to state. Okay? So if you're disabled in one state, you're disabled in another. So if you've got somebody 
telling you that you need to do this or that and then giving you a run around at Social Security. I want to. Against who? Social Security Administration. Not the entity. Okay? Against the one that's involved. The administrator of. Okay? With that being said, this is just an introduction into how Social Security Administration will try to plague you as being disabled. Everybody has the right to be happy, sad, glad, or mad, so bipolar is a made-up word. If you're sick and tired of living homeless, underneath the, the uh, you know, underneath the radar with no kind of income other than that measly little bit that they give you, and then they take it back from you, that's part of the Strawman's Act that you should act upon. Perhaps stop allowing the government to use you as a pawn because the moment that you're born that number on your birth certificate underneath gives them the right to use you as a lien as a pawn hence the fact that the government's all in this crisis with China and everything right because they dumbed everybody down and put them on disability and then they didn't make enough money to pay the bill created to China is that what happened huh is that our fault no, so why are we paying the price again? By getting poisoned with this COVID corona? Like I said, that's a personal injury lawsuit. So if everybody stood together, we could all make a change together. All you gotta do is snap your fingers and it's like magic. Make that wish come true. Wake up in the morning and find that COVID disappeared. Why? Cancel the election. Bet that would cancel COVID. That's just my opinion. I'm not suggesting you do that. But I don't vote for criminals and crooks. If you do, that's on you. But you see, until we get the right people to vote for out here making a difference, I'm not voting. And anybody in their right mind that knows anything about what they want in life and the Freedom Act of America and why and how, we got the freedom that we were granted in this country. You will perhaps find that the constitutional rights have all been denied. You've got constitutional rights, human rights, civil rights, disability rights, and a whole lot of rights. Doesn't matter what the law is. Your federal constitutional rights are over perceiving. Therefore, it's very important that you stand up and you start utilizing them. If you don't know them, contact me. I'm willing to teach them. Have a great day.